I have never been up there to Canada before. I haven't been up to Canada either, but the relief from the heat would be very much oh thankful to be up in Canada and yes. away from all this. She is lucky. It would be. She is very lucky. <laughs> as you look at our feels like temperatures as we go through our rest of our day, well, one at five o'clock we are seeing a hundred degrees still, and even as we head into the rest of our night, 80 degrees is our feel like temperature at 3 a.m. We are looking hot. We are looking humid overall, just not a lot of fun when it comes to the heat. But even as we continue into the feels like forecast, as we head into Friday, the heat is sticking around by 1230, seeing our feel like temperatures around 96 degrees in Rockford, 95 in Freeport. Freeport, I'm expecting you to be a little higher because you've been consistently higher when it comes to our feel like temperature compared to here to us in Rockford. But as we continue in through Friday afternoon, 102 could see triple digits. And then down in Dixon and Savannah, 106 and 107. This is very dangerous heat and so dangerous. In fact, it is just it's it's bad to be outside as much as you can. But luckily, we are seeing a lot of relief on Saturday as our feel like temperatures in the afternoon looking like 86 degrees. But again, this heat is very dangerous today and tomorrow. And with that, you need to look out for signs and symptoms of heat exhaustion and heat stroke. Some of the symptoms you may see with exhaustion is sweating, faint, dizziness, or even some muscle cramps. While heat stroke, you will stop sweating, have a really bad headache, and could potentially pass out. And heat stroke is very, very dangerous. If you are experiencing any of the symptoms of heat stroke, call 911 immediately. Heat exhaustion, well, get inside, take a cold shower, and drink plenty of liquids. But seriously, if you feel like anything of heat stroke, call 911, as this could be very life-threatening. But luckily, we do see a relief on the way as our humidity takes a massive drop off as we head into Saturday. Saturday's looking a lot nicer, and with that humidity dropping, our, ski, our Mosquito Joe Skeeter meter looks to be low on both Saturday and Sunday. Friday, we still are looking high as our humidity is still very high. As you take a look hour by hour tonight, we do see some cloud cover come into our area. But as that comes along, we are tracking some showers and some thunderstorms at the 2 o'clock hour. Really, that's when they start to enter our area. Those are going to leave, and then a little second pocket is expected around 6 to 7 o'clock. And these storms could be strong to severe. As we head into Friday afternoon, our temperatures are still going to be very high, especially with the amount of sunshine we will be seeing. But we're really tracking a big cool off as we head into Friday evening as showers and thunderstorms could make a big impact for our state line area. But as we look at our severe threat for tomorrow morning, we are in a marginal risk. That means we are at a one out of five risk. And with that, some light hail and some stronger winds could be expected from these storms in the morning tomorrow. But Tomorrow evening, we are tracking our biggest chance for strong, strong, severe thunderstorms as a cold front is expected to come through, really cooling us off very quickly from what the heat we've been seeing. And with, those, with these thunderstorms, our main threat, we're looking at large hail and high winds. Those are the two biggest threats we are facing when it comes to Friday evening's time. We're really tracking about 10 o'clock is when those are first going to come into our area. But other than Friday being a very hot and a potentially dangerous day when it comes to heat and storms, the rest of our forecast is looking much, much better as Sunday, looking like a high of 83 degrees, looking a lot nicer when it comes to being outside, especially when it comes to the weekend. So stay inside tomorrow as our heats are very hot, but this weekend, get out and enjoy. You know, this is... This is that kind of weather you step outside immediately feel sweaty. <laughs> oh, immediately you step out like opening an oven. It's the worst. That's why I'm glad if people have remote start in their cars. Great time to use that. Absolutely. <laughs> Get the air conditioning going because really I feel like I have to have it blasting on me until I actually feel some relief in the yes. car. Yes. That sun beats down it, it through does. the windows. Yeah. But you know, it's okay. You know, 